I'm Dave. I'm Stevie. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects Wednesday Special. So, something a little bit different this week. We're going to be installing one of Boundary Security Alarm Systems, the Medium Bundle, because we're partnered up with Boundary. As you can see, where we're going to be installing this system is yours truly, my house. The manor. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking in for updates on my house. At the minute, it's come to a standstill because weather. It was done later on in the year. So at the minute, it's stopping like this. You remember, you would have saw all the videos that me and my dad did all on weekends where we did the blocks all the way around. Still not decided on that. All been tarmac. Still not decided what light's going to go in there. But we needed a proper test. I've already got an alarm. My dad doesn't currently have an alarm, but we're going to be installing boundary security alarm system on this property right here. So why are we doing it? One, boundary has sponsored this video. And two, it's a really smart, simple DIY system, which you can all can install yourselves at home. Talking of the system, let's go and have a look at it and unbox it. So here we go. It's a home security made smarter by Boundary. Just to make sure that you know you've got it the right way around. We know you're smart, but this is upside down. So get that box split. We've already cut the tabs earlier, so make it easier. Here we have it. So what do you get? You get a couple of window stickers to stick in the window to warn them pesty burglars away. You get a quick setup guide. Look how thick it is, so you know it's going to be dead simple and easy to fit. Look at that. As you'll be able to see, not much to the system, so it can't be too complicated, right? So we've pulled it out and it's got four simple instructions on it. So you've got download the app, set up your hub, install your sensors and pay your key fobs and install the outdoor siren. Sounds simple enough so far. You just find the boundary app and it really is that simple. So just create your account or login. So I've filled my details in. The next page is you either set to invite or set up boundary system. So what we're doing, we're setting up a boundary system. So you mess about with the app, you enter all the information about your home into the app, pinpoint it, location, everything else, and then it's onto the hub itself. And you'll know exactly which box to go because it says hub. Oh, she's a beauty. Same again, really, really simple. Can't stress how simple this system is. It's got some setup tips on the back of the box. Mount your hub close to the Wi-Fi router. Remember, it needs to be in reachable within 30 seconds of opening the door. Make sure the hub reach a power socket and try and have the hub hidden from outside. <laughs> <laughs> the hub isn't shy, it just prefers the element of surprise. So what do you get in it? You get the hub itself, you get the power cable, we won't be needing that because we're UK, and you get all the plugs and screws to fix it to the wall. You do not have to fit it to the wall. You can order a freestanding stand, they can stand it on a coffee table or a shelf. So the next step is you want to decide where you're going to put it. We've decided we're going to have it there. It's out of sight of prying eyes, but it's close enough to the front door, so when you open the front door, you can get straight to that keypad. And remember, it needs power, so the buyer plug is ideal. And it really is this simple. If you are attaching it to wall, the backing plate comes off, you'll place it where it wants to be, level it up, mark with pencil, four holes, take that away, drill your four holes, insert the plugs, insert the screws which are provided, and then just click it back, and it's that simple, you're ready to go. Once you've powered your system up, the first screen you are greeted with is your home network screen. So pick your Wi-Fi. So once you've filled that information in, it's connected into your Wi-Fi. Connection successful, ready to pair. It might have a little firmware update, but nothing too crazy. So once it's done its reboot and it's installed everything that it needs to do, you need to pair the device to the mobile app. And then once you've done the pairing, you need to set a passcode. It's a four digit pin. Once you've put your pin in, you need to start adding some rooms. And that means ready to pair to the sensors. So I've picked hallway, living room, kitchen, and conservatory for the sensors. So let's get to it. You remember earlier, you had the hub box, sensors and fobs is next. Same again, you've got instructions on here, what to do and what everything is. It's really that simple. All the boxes are labeled nice and clear. So what we're looking for, we're looking for the sensors. So let's pair that first sensor up. And that is your sensor. 
It really is a smart, discreet design. Nice colors to blend in with the walls. So everything is explained in that app. So you take the back off it, really, really simple. Pull a tab, it slides off. Press continue. It's asking whether Boundary can use your camera. Yes. And the reason it's asking to use the camera is because there's a scanning barcode on the back. You just need to scan that like that, you see. And then it pairs that sensor. And what's so neat about this, you've even got a short video of how to install the motion sensor if you're not too sure. Or a flat wall. Make sure your chosen location isn't over heat sources such as radiators or lights and that it doesn't point directly towards any windows or other sources of heat to prevent false alarms. So your next step, this little tab here, really, really simple. Pull that out and discard it. Then you get a big green tick to tell you it's paired. Press continue and you're greeted with this screen. I'm gonna put this one in the living room. So you select a living room. It's asking for a new motion sensor. So I'm just gonna add one. Because I've got four, I'm just gonna label them one to four. So we've put motion sensor one, living room, we've enabled that, but we haven't enabled bottom one because you only need to do that if it's on entry to the property. Press save, device added. This is gonna hurt a lot of people out there. We're gonna pull that bit of plastic off. So we'll add three more and we'll catch back up. So we've paired the other four up, now it comes to fitting them. It really is that simple. You get everything you need. You've got the plugs and screws there, but we're not gonna go that route. We're just gonna stick them to the wall with these 3M sticky pads. These are really, really strong. There's guides on the back of it where they should go. As simple as that. As I'm sure you know, the next step is to install that into the designated corner. You could have there, 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 or there. We're thinking there. Excuse the pun, next step. So it really is this simple. I peeled the sticky pads off. It does say leave a five mil gap from the top. And I'm just gonna place it. There. And that's it. No need to drill holes. No need to get any tools out. No need to drill any holes. It's sticky pads. It's gonna be up there. It's nice and secure. Same process as the living room in the hallway. But remember my dad has enabled the motion sensor because this one is an access point. You don't want the alarm blaring off. You want a little bit of a countdown. Simple as that. I'm gonna put the remainder two up, one in the kitchen, one in conservatory, and we'll catch back up for the next step. So I've added all the motion sensors for our property in all the rooms that's needed. Now it's onto the contact sensors. These are sensors that are primarily put on doors. We'll get one out and show you the first one and then we'll do the second one ourselves. Same again, sticky pads, or you can screw it. The beauty of this alarm, it is so, so simple. Like I keep on saying, but don't think because it's simple, it's not effective. So it's the same principle as before. Scan the QR code, you come back to this screen, name the sensor, choose what room it's in. And yes, it will be on an entry and exit route. So you slide that across there. The larger of the two sensors goes on the outside of the frame. And again, we're using sticky pads for these. No need to screw anything and create some holes that are unnecessary. 3M sticky pads, plenty strong enough. When you install the smaller one of the two on the door, it recommends no greater gap than 25 millimeter. And the same again, it really is that simple. So now they're all set up, it's time for the siren. good looking piece of kit. First impressions, very, very sleek. Very, very sleek. Definitely a fan of the looks of this. Same again, you've got your tips on there. And I'm pretty sure the setup is gonna be just like the others. Maybe a scanner code, we shall find out right now. So yeah, again, it really is that simple. Just remove these retainer screws. And this is the inside of the alarm. Quite simple, but snazzy at the same time. So your next screen is the user setup. Your name should appear there. Press confirm. David's home. Complete setup. So it really is that simple. It's telling you the room temperatures and we've already got a triggered sensor. The triggered sensor, I, I believe this sensor isn't connected properly. So I'll go and correct that now. So let me just briefly mention some of the smart home features. So for example, so Boundary can integrate with your smart home devices. So you're able to play a dog barking, woof woof, 
or a loud siren on speakers if the alarm goes off. Nina, Nina. <laughs> so you can even link boundary to smart light bulbs to even have them on or off. So this really helps to simulate the occupants there when you're not home and keeping them pesty burgers away. So now we're outside and it's bloody freezing. We need to get the alarm box up there. Using the so you are going to need some ladders of some sort to obviously get the alarm system up high because you don't want the alarm system down low where the intruders can tamper with that alarm. No point doing that, is there? So dad's having it up there. Don't think that we're getting up there. Hopefully not anyway. Now, of course, from the D&J boys and from Bandra, make sure you are safe when working at heights. Make sure that your ladder is always level. What does danger not do, Dad? Danger don't have a day off. <laughs> so I'll be footing the bottom of the ladder. Dad will be taking the SDS up. You will need a seven mil drill bit because you'll be using these. And these brown plugs, sort of universal for seven mil. Really, really simple. I love the fact it's got a spirit level bubble there so you can level it off while you're up there. And these spin as well. So if you're not perfectly in line, need not worry. As long as you've got that centre one in the right place. Probably start with the top one because then you can get that one in, you can hang it up top and you can move it from left to right to get the level. But enough talking because it's freezing. Let's get my dad up there on the ladders. I'll foot the ladder and let's get it up. Going up the ladder, let's see what he's up to. So the first hole's drilled, and now it's about getting the plugs ready to get that in so we can hang it round. He'll be able to put the alarm system up and scoot it out of the way when he needs to do the rest. Got it up there now, I just need to drill a couple more holes to get the levels right, and that's nice and simple. What do you think to it looking up there? Quite smart, right? I think so. I think it's time for some key fobs. The next and final step is these key fobs. So it's as simple as go on to key fobs, select your name and add. Go back to the hub and tap this on the hub. So my dad's just tapped the key fob onto the alarm and now you've got your count down. And of course, if anyone's wondering, I thought that was going on the wall. It is. That's just be there and he's got to be somewhere. In the meantime, it's going to be there, but for the future, it's going to be there. Now the system's armed. Can you see how it's detected? That's because me and dad are in the entry zone. Dad's going to tap the key fob onto there now. Alarm is disarmed. As simple as that. That completes the whole install of this job. That's probably taken 45 minutes at the most and we didn't have a look at that we unboxed it in front of you so another cool feature about this alarm you get two key fobs and you can use the code as well you can give a one-off code to someone so they can use that enter the property do some work perhaps put some fitted wardrobes in build up whatever and then that code will be void after that but yeah this is a cool feature the other cool feature is the alarm is activated, it calls your phone to say there's something wrong, an intruder's in there, being broken into. You can be halfway across the world, like you know the DJ boys always are, and it will tell you. And you can set and disarm your alarm for any country, anywhere in the world from your phone. And the other cool feature about this, it's pet friendly. And when I mean pet friendly, I mean the motion sensors will not activate because of your pets. So it's pretty cool alarm system, right? I'm very impressed with how it looks, how it's set up. It isn't hard at all, very, very easy. If me and my dad can do it, I'm sure all of you guys can do it. And if you want this alarm, the link is down below and you can save yourself a massive 45% off the purchase price. 
that is almost a steal. A bit ironic to say we're dealing with alarms, right? I just want to say a massive thank you to Boundary Alarm Systems to give them the opportunity to premiere their product. I am really, really happy with it so far. And impressed. Such, such a simple, easy install. Anyone can do it right. Just be careful on them ladders. And as you can see, it's starting to snow. So I think that's another day for D&J. We'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Thank you.